now that I got your attention, it didn't really put out 170 PSI, especially with no cylinder head on it. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you, you know, what can happen if you, uh, well, say you made a head out of steel like this one. Haven't got any valves in it yet, but basically you have a real high compression ratio, like 20, 30 to 1. So if you were to uh, put a valve in backwards or something and deadhead it, you could have a serious problem. You know, you could blow the head right off the engine. So, and uh, this JB welded up head here, you might as well take it and throw it away because you can't get any heat out of the end, out of the compressor, especially since it broke fins off it. But you can't get it from the JB weld to the outside to get rid of the heat. So it'll probably heat up and crack. So whatever you do, don't JB weld up a head. Either use the stock head with nothing else, and it's good for about 50 PSI, or you have to build one out of steel. Now, either way, I think I would just recommend that since this is an experimental air compressor, that you just go ahead and buy one at a store. It'll be a lot safer. So, uh, that that'd be my recommendation because there's so many variables here. The engine you choose, the RPM you run that, the air temperature outside, all kinds of things. You know, I don't want to be held responsible for somebody getting hurt. And there's so many different ways that could happen with something like this. So basically, I'm not recommend. I'm recommending that you don't try building one of these. It's not going to be free anyways. You have to get the pulleys, the V belts, all that stuff. So you're going to have some money invested in it either way. So, uh, like I say, you know, just it might be best if you just went ahead and and uh, bought a compressor. That way you know what you got and it's safe. You know, these things here, like I say you got to know what you're doing otherwise you can get hurt really easy with them so anyways hope you hope you like the fireworks there so we'll catch you later